Hello friends! How's it going? It's me, Buddy Jean. In today's video, I am playing with the new Secret Garden palette from Bella Beauty Bar. I am so excited. Bella Beauty Bar is one of my favorite brands and I get so pumped when they have new launches and I am just happy to be here doing a couple looks for you. I'll be doing close-up swatches, all that fun stuff, and it's gonna be a good time. This palette's launching on April 22nd at 10 a.m. EST. I'll have the launch details down in my description box, and you can also use my affiliate code BADDYBEAN to save on their site if you feel like shopping, and I appreciate it so, so much. But we're gonna dive into it. I'm gonna show you the palette, do swatches, do two looks. I do intend on doing an additional look over on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube Shorts, hopefully before launch, but We'll see if it's not already up. It'll be coming very soon. And we're just gonna have a good time. I will give my accessory details before each individual look, but my nail polish of the day, unfortunately, is not one that you can get, but I'm sure I'm gonna get asked, because I always get asked about my nail polish, but this was a custom nail polish that I made with Cleona when they joined us on our Creators and Friends trip in New Orleans. So I love this shade. I named it Cruel Summer, and it's so pretty and juicy and lovely, but you can't get it unfortunately. So yeah, without further ado, let's just hop in, dive into this palette, talk about the shades, do some swatches, and do some looks. This packaging is so pretty. I love how the background is this old school looking wallpaper. It's so, so pretty. And the inside looks like this. It's gorgeous. We have 25 delicious shades, everything ranging from some neutrals to some pinks, some more like fuchsia -y pinks into different shades of green and teal. It is lush. It is delicious. I love this color story. I think it's so pretty. And I feel like even if you're someone who mostly sticks to neutrals, I feel like you have your core neutrals here at the top and then you can just sprinkle in some colors and even for me as someone who doesn't really use neutrals this shimmer here is really really pretty and I want to definitely get around to using it at some point because it's like a very neutral beigey shimmer but it has holographic sparkles in it it is definitely the most interesting neutral I've personally ever seen. This is just a gorgeous color story. I love all the lush greens. I love the bright pops of fun, but it also gets really deep and really jewel toned. I'm just, uh, I'm such a sucker. I'm very much into these like grungy garden vibes right now. So this is perfect for me. I am just so excited. At this point, I've only done one look, the one that you're looking at right now. And I'm just so excited to continue playing with it, doing the second look for this video, all that fun stuff. But yeah, this is what she looks like. She is beauty, she is grace, and I'm excited to just do more for you. So let's just hop on in, create the two looks, and at the end of the video, I'll give you my thoughts so far on the palette. Hello, hello. I'm so excited to dive into look number one with the Secret Garden palette. Um, but before I forget, let me just give you my accessory details. These earrings I got from a shop called Intuitive Wisdom. Both of these necklaces are Ana Luisa. Both of these rings are Ana Luisa. And I don't know where this ring's from. Also, this bracelet I think is also Ana Luisa. So yeah, we're just gonna hop in. I'm very, very excited. I wanna do something very green today. There are just so many pretty greens in here. I wanna kind of play with the the greens and this chartreuse shade, really, really bad. Maybe a pop of this in the inner corner, maybe something else, we're just gonna see. So let's uh, let's get into it. I'm gonna prime my eyes with the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Eye Primer. I'm just gonna slather it on and blend it out. I'm so, so excited to be playing with this. When I swatched it out yesterday, I got so inspired. These shades are so pretty. All right, well, I think I first wanna take Thistle, that beautiful bright green. I'm gonna use my Sigma E49, and I'm just going to kind of plop this in the outer corner of my eye. I want it to wing out a little bit, because I do think I want a little bit of a winged liner today, um, but I don't want it to be crazy blown out. Like, I want it to be slightly flicked out, but I want it to be pretty tucked close to my eye as well. I'm also just gonna drag this toward the inner corner. Just doing light little motions, just slowly and softly building this up. This is just gorgeous. I love this green. Oh, that's so cute. I feel like thankfully the shape of this brush kind of gives me that like slight flick that I want. Oh, that's so cute. I'm gonna also pop just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit just here in the very outer corner of my lower lash line. I don't want it going all the way across at all. I want that to stay pretty big and open. So just the outer corner. I'm making sure it kind of connects in this outer corner. I'm liking where this is going so far. I now want to take lock and key and use my Sigma E45. It's just kind of like a smaller version of what I just used. And I want to do kind of the same thing I just did. I'm just keeping it a little more focused to just the very outer corner. I'm not gonna drag it all the way in. I'm not gonna take it out as far. I just wanna add a little bit of depth 
to the outer corner of this eye. Oh, these greens are so pretty. I'm gonna drag a little of it again right at that very outer corner of the lower lash and just make sure that connects together. Ooh, this is gonna be a good look, I can feel it. All right, I'm just gonna take the tiniest bit more of Thistle, that first green, and just kind of run it along the edge of what I just did, just to start forming more of that blend before I add in the lighter green to finish off the blend. I'm really liking what these greens are doing though, this is so cute. Okay, I just wanna take Water Lily, this pale green, to blend it out more. I'm gonna use my Sigma E40, and I'm just gonna grab a little bit, and I'm mostly just gonna focus it out here, just to really fluff and blend the edges out toward like my blush and everything. I just want this to all kind of fade away and blend out flawlessly. Oh yeah, this is really pretty. This is working, guys. This is so nice. Oh, I love. I just love Bella Beauty Bar. I love their eyeshadows. And this color story is just giving me everything. I want to start working on my lid now and doing some shimmer. So I want to take my NYX Glitter Primer. I'm going to use my Sigma E55 packing brush. I'm just going to kind of tippy tap this across my lid just to prep it and get it nice and sticky so that my shimmers can stay put and pop really nicely. I wanna use the shade Deserted and I want it to fade into Butterfly. I'm actually gonna start with Butterfly, the lighter one, that bright chartreuse shimmer. Oh, that's so pretty. And I'm just gonna start kind of tucking this up against my crease, something like that. I'm not necessarily going for like a precise cut crease, but I am kind of like, doing a little bit of that motion, I suppose. And I'm just gonna take it pretty much all the way. I'm just gonna leave kind of this pocket open over here for the other shimmer to live. And I'm just gonna flip that same brush over and grab Deserted, and that is gonna go in this outer corner. I just wanted something slightly darker to help fade from that chartreuse into all of our mattes. Oh, that's pretty, that multi-chrome is nice. I feel like that's the perfect transition. Ooh, that's so pretty. I'm just gonna make sure that is blending into my mattes nicely. Oh, that's so cute. I love these colors. Oh, this is just so pretty. I think for the final little moment, I need to take Oasis. This beautiful flaky sea foam. It's so pretty. This is an Odin's Eye brush. I'm just gonna grab some of this and I'm just going to start kind of plopping it here in the inner corner. I want it very lightly in the actual inner corner and I want to kind of drag some of this down here to kind of connect, not maybe all the way, but maybe close toward that mat that's down there. Just for like a little, little twinkle and I'll just kind of like blend it and let it fade into everything else I have going on. I am obsessed with this. I feel like it was so, Pretty simple to execute, like it was just some greens in the mats, but these shimmers just brought it to another level. It looks so multifaceted. I love this. So I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna throw on my lashes and eye pencil, something on my lips, and I'll be back when I'm complete. Here is look number one complete. I really like it. I did end up adding a slight flick of a wing. I'd mentioned that earlier and then forgot to do it on camera, but I just did a baby wing, a baby wing for me at least. Maybe this is a big wing for you. Um, I threw on my Likely Makeup Delicate Lashes. The eye pencil I went with is the mint one from uh, Odin's Eye. I felt like it went with that inner corner perfectly. And then my lip combo today, I'm really, really into actually. It's Rosewood Pencil from Lawless with the classic signature lipstick from Merit Beauty over top and the All Heart Lip Oil from Sigma on top of that. So this is the final look. I really like it. I think it came out so pretty. I just, I love it. It's just colorful and fun and exciting and I'm really pumped to just keep playing with this palette. So let's move on to look number two. All right, hello, look number two coming at ya. These earrings used to be plugs, I think from Love Kills Boutique that I turned into earrings. This necklace, uh, I think is Shop Sun & Co, and this ring is same as yesterday from Ana Luisa. So, we're gonna dive into it. I really want to do, I think a pink halo eye, like I want it to be very pink on the inner and outer corner. And then I actually really wanna use this one in the center because it's a really pretty neutral. I 
might have mentioned it at the beginning of this video, like in the intro, but it's definitely a neutral shimmer, but it has holographic sparkles. And I just think that would be really pretty in the center of a halo eye. I mean, it would be pretty all over the lids too. So I kind of want to try it out and I don't really want to do just like a full on neutral look. So this is how I want to do it. I'm going to prime with my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Eye Primer to start with. So I want to start, I think, with this bright pink. I think I'm just going to use this E33 from Sigma, just this like kind of fluffy pointed blending brush. And I'm just going to really focus this just in the inner and outer corner of my lid. I'll do just probably just a smoky lower lash line. I don't know if I want the lower lash line haloed or maybe I do. Actually, maybe I will halo the lower lash line. I feel like last time I did a halo, I just smoked it. So maybe today we'll actually halo it. So I'm just kind of going, leaving that blank in the center as best as I can and just kind of packing this pink down. I like this brush because it can really get like super precise in that crease. So it really tucks in and just kind of creates that shape nicely. And I'll kind of just go and do sort of the same thing to that lower lash line, just popping a little bit in the outer corner and the inner corner. Kind of, sort of, something like this. So I think I want to take the peony pink and blend out with that. I'm just going to use my little Sigma dual-ended brush here. I'm going to use the E38 side, just grabbing some of that pink. And again, just focusing on the inner and outer corner. I just want to use this to blend and fluff at the edges of both the lid and lower lash line and again trying to leave that middle as blank as possible this uh, light pink diffused that hot pink really really well like i barely even had to touch that is awesome just like a perfect little blur cute and then obviously i'll repeat that on the front just getting it nice and softened i do want to deepen this up just a smidge more too but i just want to make sure this blend is blending before I deepen it up and then add all of my shimmers. I'm excited. I think this is going to be a nice look once all is said and done. All right. So even though I don't want this to be a neutral look, I do think I want to deepen up with mahogany. And I feel like for a brown, this brown has a little bit of like almost a little bit of rosiness to it. And I think it'll mesh really well with the pink. Uh, by the way, this is an E42 from Sigma. I'm just kind of tippy toppying just right in that inner and outer corner of my lid. Kind of like that. I'm not taking this out super far at all. I just want this to be focused specifically to the lid and then right up against my lashes on that lower lash line. It's just really gonna help create a lot of that shape that I want for this look. And the middle of my eye is kind of looking like a V now and that's kind of what I want. So I'm going to, again, pop it on this lower lash line as well, just in the inner and outer corner right up against those lashes not enough to completely overwhelm the pink but just to add again just some depth and dimension so now i'm just going to kind of go back down the line i'm going to grab that more bright pink and just take a little bit of it just to kind of run along the edge of that brown shade mahogany just to soften it a smidgen with that lower lash line of course anything i do to the top i'm doing to the bottom and then i also want to take the lighter pink and just do a final blend around the edges with this as well, just to get everything kind of finished off. And I'm just gonna kind of go back and forth between my various brushes until I am satisfied with the blend. I'm actually already feeling really good about this. This is looking really cute. I'm already just really liking this. I love just how moody it is with this pink kind of flowing out of it. It's looking really, really pretty. Um, I'm going to take my NYX Glitter Primer now, <laughs> and we're going to start working on some shimmer. I'm going to use a Sigma E55, and I'm just going to tippy-tap this mostly focused in the center, but I'll let it kind of fade toward the inner and outer corner because I'll have a little bit of shimmer kind of flowing into that as well. Just kind of lightly tippy-tapping it. Even if you just did something like cream in the middle, I think that would be really pretty, just something very soft and bright. Like if you did an all-matte look, that would be cute. But we're going shimmer. Um, I want to use Flora on the inner and outer, and then of course that pretty shimmer uh, gazebo in the center. And I'll do the same to that lower lash line as well, but I want to start with Flora, just grabbing some of that. And I'm just doing just a tiny little bit, kind of on that seam where it's flowing from that blank middle into the inner and outer corner. I'm using very little bits of this. It's so pigmented though, a little goes such a long way. And I'm just lightly building this in those little spots. And I'll even already go through and just make sure those are blending 
into those mats in the inner and outer corner really well before I continue on. I'm gonna also just grab some flora on like the, the tip of the brush so that I can pop some of this on that lower lash line. Cause like I said, I want that lower lash line to be a little bit haloed as well. So I'm just kind of plopping a little bit there in the inner and outer corner. I'm gonna use my brush though, just to make sure that blends really well and just kind of fluff that out. This is just so pretty. I really like this shimmer, even though there's just such a small amount of it, I think it adds such a pretty effect. I'm now just taking gazebo on the clean side of that same brush. And I'm just gonna lightly, 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 again, I'm using little bits of product at a time just start building into the center. Oh, that's so pretty. Wow. I feel like this uh, more neutral base shimmer really lets those pinks shine really well next to it. Just again, wanna make sure that everything is flowing nicely and blending good. Oh, that's really pretty. Again, I wanna pop some in that underneath as well. Get a really nice kind of shimmery haloed lower lash line. And I just love lower lash line shimmer. It's one of my favorites. Just wanna make sure they blend together really well. I'm even gonna actually take just a little bit of the, the darker pink shimmer on my pinky. And I just wanna like kind of reapply some of that in the inner and outer corner. And just make sure everything is flowing together really nicely. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, I really like that. And it'll be so hard for me to capture on camera, but I can try. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but the holographic sparkles in person are so vibrant. Like they catch the light so beautifully. I'm looking in the mirror right now. It's magical. I really hope even a little bit of that captures on camera. I'm obsessed with this. I think all that's left is an inner corner and I'm kind of feeling, oh, which one? Maybe just sun shower. It's kind of like a pale pink, super shimmery, super cute. I'm just gonna plop that in the inner corner. For just a little added sparkle. I think it's just gonna kind of flow with everything I've done. Yeah, it like just kind of adds to it. It doesn't take anything away. That's really, really pretty. But I love all this pink. I love all this sparkle. I think this looks really, really cool. So I think this is where I'm gonna leave it. Let me go add my eye pencil and my lashes and my lip and all that fun stuff. All right, here's look number two complete. I ended up deciding I didn't want lashes for this look. After I put on just mascara, I was like, I'm kind of feeling no lashes today. So I went with just mascara. The eye pencil I put in is Silver Lake. I felt like it went with that champagne-y pop in the middle. And then my lip combo today is Pink Slip Pencil from Lawless with the Patrick Ta She's Expensive Gloss over top. I just felt like champagne -y, shimmery, slightly pinky lip. That was the move for this look. So yeah, this is look number two. I really hope you like it. Let's zoom out and I'll give you my thoughts so far on the palette. Thank you so much for watching my video. I had so much fun creating these two looks over the last couple days. I feel like I went with such completely different vibes and I would love to know what you're thinking. Do you have a favorite of the two? Were you into that very greeny, chartreuse situation? Are you liking more of the soft pink? I'd probably give my favorite to look number one personally, just because I'm a sucker for those tones, but I do feel really, really pretty with these pinks, and I just really like that shimmer in the middle. Like when the light catches it, I can really see those holographic shimmers pop through. It's really, really pretty. But this has been so much fun to play with. Again, I think I'd mentioned already, but I do plan on doing another look over on like Instagram, TikTok, YouTube Shorts. So just stay tuned for that. I'm aiming to have that look up before launch. So if it's not already up by the time this video goes up, it'll be coming very soon. But I've had so much fun today. There's still so much to explore with this palette. I feel like I've only scratched the surface, but so far I'm very impressed. Like I've mentioned, I love Bella Beauty Bar. I think their formulas are beautiful. Their mattes blend out really, really nicely and their shimmers are just so incredibly special. And I feel like this palette is definitely going to become like a favorite from the brand for me. It's just, it's beautiful. I love everything about it. I'm having so much fun and I can't Wait to continue doing so and continue diving into this palette. Again, it's launching on April 22nd. I'll have the launch details down in my description box. And don't forget, you can use my affiliate code BattyBean to save some money, and I appreciate it so much. And also, of course, just a huge thank you to Bella Beauty Bar for sending me this palette early. This video obviously wasn't sponsored. Um, I made it on my own free will, but I'm very grateful that I got to get this early so I could play with it for you guys and test it out and give you my thoughts before launch happened. But I would love to hear your thoughts. What are you thinking of this palette? Do you want to pick it up? Have you tried this brand before? What are your favorite things? I would love to 
to know. If you made it to the end of this video, leave some garden related emojis. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you're not already, you can follow me over on Instagram. I'm Batty Bean there as well. And if you want, you can also subscribe. I'm posting most days over here. And you can join my channel memberships. The link to sign up will be down below. You'll get fun little perks, including a members only video once a month. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.